so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna learn something more in flutter so basically today we are gonna make a uh, what you can say today we are gonna make on the copy of ui section or you can say the home page of the gmail okay so without wasting any time let's dive direct into it you can see that i have a physical divide connected okay so let me right start writing we will import a package that will be material dot dart okay and after that we will call the void main sorry this will run the app and my app It's, it is not necessary that you give my app name you can give any name that you want okay it will extend what it will extend a stateless widget and this stateless widget uh, will ask for overriding something so we can just go to here and give a new material app okay and in this material app we will give a title as my app let me give it this um, debugger set mode add false i told you what this line will do it will basically remove the right uh, banner at the right hand corner of the flutter app okay we are not going to give a theme we are just going to give a home my app home okay here will be a class my app home extends but it will extend a stateful widget okay and we will just uh, what we will do Okay, I hope you got this. Let me copy and let me paste it. Okay, now this will ask for a state class, so we'll give a new my app state. Okay, and now we'll create a new class as my app state. It will extend a with a generic function okay my app home now we can just uh oh we will just import this okay let me just minimize all these things okay so you can see that this will return something so it will return what it will return a scaffold as we know that there uh, is app bar so we will create a app bar and app bar will be new app bar okay and in this app bar what in this app bar there will be title title will be new text and this text will be in box okay after that uh, in inbox what will we give a background color background color will be colors dot red and after that mm, there will be a action widget okay an action widget will contain the icon uh, there will be a child is there a new icon button okay. and in this icon button we will pass the icons dot the icon bracket way icons dot what more more vertical okay and on press we will do nothing okay so our app bar is complete okay now we will create a drawer okay and this drawer will contain a drawer okay and it will have a child which will call the drawer okay so you can see that we know that this drawer is not a widget but we have to create this widget 
so we can just go up and define this drawer okay this drawer will be a list view okay and in this list view what in this list view there will be a children widget and in this children widget we will have a list style okay in this list style and we will have a divider also okay so in this list view what in this list we will have a title title will be new text and new text will be page 1 okay and on tab on tab what we will do we will go to some new page okay so on tab we will do something like navigator dot of dot push pop not we will push a root in it what we will go to a new page okay with page id 1 okay now we will just copy all these things and we will paste it here we will paste it here okay so you can see that it will pass with id 2 this new page we have to create this page okay this is not a predefined page or predefined widget we have to just uh, do the coding okay and this will be closed and for closing this we will just don't have to use push we will you have to pop okay and now we can just create a class uh, new page okay okay and it will extend what it will extend material root page page root and it will have null in it okay so you can see it is asking for a uh, integer in it it means we have to call a constructor okay and in this constructor it will call the super and in this super uh, this will pass a builder and builder will call the builder of context context okay and in this it will return the what it will return the scaffold okay and this is similar app bar new app bar and app bar will say uh, what it will say mm, app bar will say the title okay title as a new text as page and it will call the id okay now we will have the body part body will have a center widget and it will have a child and this will be new text and this will again say page id okay so you can see that this error has been gone okay and we have to do one more thing final and drawer header okay drawer header we can give any name that we want okay so user account header okay and in this we will pass the account name as new text let me give my name okay email uh, let me give one two three at the rate gmail.com let me close this in the text widget <coughs> so after this we can just use the current account picture okay 
in this we will have a circular avatar and this circular avatar will go to um, we will have a child and this will be the flutter logo i am not going to use any of the predefined or i will not going to call any of the network url for the ids or uh, for the pictures okay colors dot yellow or purple i like the purple color okay so after that there will be account and in this circle of tar there will be a child a child will be what uh, text as uh, as copy and paste okay 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 now coming back to our this we will use a body and body will contain a list view okay in this list view there will be a children of widgets okay and this children of widget we will have a list tile okay and after that there will be a divider okay in this list tile what will we do we will have a title as a new text a a a, -A. and we will have a leading leading will be what leading will be something as a circle of tar it has a child and it will have a new text as a now after this we have a subtitle let me give it a text as yep this is done okay so if i can just uh, want to wait okay Uh, oh no let me let me don't style this okay we are not going to style our text and let me just copy and paste it will be a little bit hectic after that okay so let this be b b b c c c d d let this be c let this be d and let this be e okay so we can see that we have done with our main thing so let's there is one thing left we can just uh, call the drawer header there only okay so now we have done with our um, coding section so let's see the outcome okay so let's run it it will take a little bit time but it will definitely get back to us so you can see this is my device screen so let's see how 
the outcome comes it will take a little bit time but definitely it will give us the output and these uh, code will be uploaded in my github repository so you can go and check out the code okay and if you have any question please write down in the comment section and i will definitely get back to you on that okay and if you like the video please like and share and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel okay i hope you will subscribe that if you subscribe it will boost up my confidence and i will definitely post many videos as you like and if you have anything that you want me to make video on you can also write down that in the comment section and i will get back to you on that okay so let's see the output APK has been built and it is installing in my mobile app. It will just show the video in um, just few seconds. Okay, it will sync my device and my system for the hot restart process. So let's see. now the system is syncing i hope so come on show the sync part yeah it's syncing file with my device and now let's see the output so you can see that there is a inbox written at the topmost corner there is a three dot this is our list view okay so let's see the okay you can see that the draw section has been done correctly okay if i click page one you go to a new page if i come back page two new page page three new page and close it closes the draw box okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video and if you like the video please write down in the comment what you feel and i will definitely get back to you thank you have a nice day